Yeah, that bodes well, doesn't it? Caution potholes, yeah, yeah, I think we've got that one. <laughs> nice and slowly. Too bad though. No worse than the major roads. No, that's true. Might see some kingfishers here with all this water. Yeah, I was thinking more of the little river here rather than the fishing lakes. Apparently it's called Keeper Lake, the one where the pitches or pitches. Yeah. I'll please report directly to shop. Let's keep going on it. If you like fishing, this is certainly the place to come. But be aware they don't allow dogs or children. Dogs, obviously, because it could scare the fish. And children, ditto. Children. <laughs> There's lots of lakes, so I don't know. How no, know it's, not, it's not suitable. I just swing around and uh, you can see these beautiful lakes here. Yeah, it's a bit lumpy bumpy, but at least it's all. Um, all gravelled, isn't it? Indeed. Gorgeous evening. We're up for a little walk around here, aren't we? Little rushes on the left there. Some ducks. down there for fishing. Lovely weeping willow. There's quite a few pegs actually all dotted along this lake. Very pretty isn't it? My bench, yeah. <laughs> my Kindle and coffee bench, and there's the shop to which we need to report. I'm going to turn off now because there's people there and we need to talk with them, and we'll catch you later. Well, good morning. It's a lovely sunny morning here at Windwhistle Fisheries. Um, yep, yeah, we had a fairly pleasant night apart from the heating. <laughs> I don't think we had it warm enough, so it's uh, it felt a bit chilly at one point, but um, yeah, so uh, we did that. Um, just one thing to note, um, we've just tried our aerial for the television. Um, unfortunately, they had their boosters cable broken, or the booster cable broken for the aerial. I've, I've pointed this satellite towards the Isle of Wight, apparently, but, uh, sorry, the, the aerial towards the... Um, uh, Isle of Wight but still not quite picking up a signal but what I did do because I upgraded my phone I've got unlimited data so all I did I just watched the um, iPod player and ITVX with the um, tethering and tethered it to my phone and used a Wi-Fi hotspot so that's just something to bear in mind but I know they're all doing that they've only taken over the place a couple of years ago so they're still doing upgrades um, but the bonus was we have cake, lemon drizzle cake, and a bit of chocolate cake. So, three o'clock afternoon, cup of tea, bit of cake, and that was with the kind compliments of the uh, owner here. So, uh, thank you to him, and uh, yeah, we've got a lovely day. We're going to get some gas. We actually run out of both bottles of gas, but... We sort of half expected that because that was the case and yeah 
Yeah. No, that's it. Yeah. It's we, so hard. We didn't know how much was in it when we got there. So no, know. no, that we're lucky just to get two bottles, let alone having them full up. But uh, it's something. So we're just going to get one bottle of gas, which I think is about two miles away. So that's not so bad. And then we're going to head for the new forest. And um, yeah, just sit, relax, enjoy a bit of nat nature and do a little bit of photography. So thanks again for watching us and uh, we'll uh, see you in the next part with an update perhaps this afternoon. Thank you and uh, please like and subscribe as always. Thank you. Goodbye. a bit of uh, rain this morning we've got uh, some beautiful sunshine and it's just a little uh, look around the lake and they've been pulling some big carp not so much out of this lake there's a lake over to the far left of me and yeah 34 pound carp came out yesterday while I was there I just wish I brought me fishing rod now. Plenty of pegs from which to choose from. Lovely little fishing lake spanning off into the distance there. And beyond that, there's more of a circular lake. And that was a uh, 34 pound carp come out of that one uh, yesterday afternoon. Just across from me is the cafe. Opens at um, 8 I believe and shuts at 5. And the bailiff, John, does an absolutely mean breakfast. Yeah, food's delicious. I had a sausage sandwich. My wife had a um, sort of half an English breakfast. So between us both we had a full English. Absolutely gorgeous, really was. Great price, I think it cost us £12 for the two of us cup of tea, hot chocolate and just slightly to the right of the cafe there is a fully stocked uh, fishing tackle shop. Everything you could wish for in there. Weights, floats, flies, fly tying equipment, rods, bivvies, uh, oh, an amazing amount of um, uh, carp food and uh, all fish pellets, goodness there And there's Bessie, reflected in the water. Let's sit on the other side of the lake. I think they've got uh, accommodation for five pitches. Uh, electric, water, Elson Point. Grey waste in all for £29 a night. That's as of April 2023. And there's the cafe over there. Lovely outlook, lovely food, can't fault it. And just to finish off, male and female toilets, shower, water point there, and the Elson point just in that door there. Very clean, 